and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name's Ava and I'm a mortgage power planner. Now in today's video, I want to share with you six ways of making money online. Obviously with the current situation, us being in lockdown, the economy suffering as a result of it, it's more important than ever to have multiple streams of income. And the easiest and best way to do that is to utilize the internet. As despite COVID, despite all the disruption, online sales have been going through the roof. So I want to share with you six relatively easy ways of making money online, but the amount you actually make is up to you and it's up to the amount of effort you actually put into it. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So the first way I want to discuss is to sell your skills. Now, sounds pretty simple, right? It is. I feel like we all have certain skills that we can monetize on. If you're someone who's really creative and you're good at graphic design, sell it. If you're really good at writing, content writing is huge right now. A lot of companies do outsource that, so there is market for it. But even things such as landscaping, joinery, plastering, anything like that, you know, there's always the need for it. So if you're good at any of those things, by all means, utilize it. And as I mentioned before, due to COVID, online has become the first part of call for a lot of people when they're looking for either a tradesman or a product. So I feel like it's easier than ever to actually attract potential customers, even if you are only just starting out. The likes of Facebook and Instagram have made it so, so easy to be put in front of your potential customers whether it's by using paid ads or whether you simply ask your friends to, to share your new venture. Now, the main thing to remember is to always remain professional and I don't mean wear a suit. It just means the way that you conduct yourself and the way you treat your customers or potential customers, you know, make sure you treat them with respect so that they're likely to come back and they're likely to refer other people. So always provide a good service regardless of the situation. So number two is to utilize social media. We all follow social media influencers. So what is stopping you from becoming one? Okay, you might think I'm absolutely crazy right now. However, they started somewhere as well. So unless you start, you will never get there. And listen, I'll be honest, this isn't a quick fix. You know, you're not going to become an overnight success. You're not going to instantly get thousands and thousands of followers. However, if you keep consistent, your time will come. And the best way to do that is to actually follow your passion. So create content around the things that you are truly passionate about. So for me, for example, it's money, it's finance. That is what I'm truly passionate about. And that's why that's what I share with you guys. And I am by no means saying that I am a social influencer because I am not. However, my channel is slowly growing and I'm expecting it to grow even further but I know that that will take not only time but it'll take consistency that's why I know I need to upload twice a week so that YouTube picks up on the fact that I am being consistent with my content and that's the same for the likes of Instagram and Facebook you have to be consistent in order for the algorithm to work for you so obviously once you've established your following you can then use that following to create an income and that can be in a variety of different ways so there's affiliate marketing whereby you've got a link and whoever clicks on your link and purchases that product you will then get commission from that you can also have paid sponsorships companies can either approach you or, or you could approach a company and say look I want to promote your product on my Instagram this is how much I charge what do you think and especially a lot of smaller businesses yeah they may not be able to fork out hundreds and thousands of pounds on advertising we could always come to a deal where it suits both parties so you were both getting something out of it and it doesn't have to cost them a fortune. So concentrate on building your following if that's something that you want to try and then use that to your advantage. Number three 
is my favourite and if you've watched my other videos you know exactly what's coming because I honestly talk about this all the time but that's to use cashback sites. This is probably the easiest way to make money out of the things that I'm going to discuss because you're earning money for doing something that you're already doing. It's as simple as that you know when you're online shopping you may as well get paid for that and the likes of Top Cashback and Quitco have majority of retailers now providing you with some sort of cash back. It may not be a lot, but every little penny adds up. And if you want to see how much I've earned on top cash back so far, have a look at my how to save for the house deposit video, as I actually include a screenshot of my account in that particular video, just to give you guys an idea of how much you could earn. And I don't utilize it fully because nine times out of 10, I forget to use it, which isn't great. So I've actually just downloaded the web browser extension to hopefully remind me to utilize the cashback every time I shop. But if you want to check out Top Cashback, I do have a link in the description box below. So do have a look at it as it's definitely worth signing up. Now, number four is a bit of a, perhaps a strange one. I feel like it does require a lot of research. I personally don't get involved in this particular money-making activity. However, I think it's worth discussing because there is genuinely money to be made in it if you know what you're doing. And that's to buy and sell either Pokemon cards or trainers. And no, I haven't lost the plot. Yes, Pokemon cards. And the reason I say that is because it's huge right now. And if you don't believe me, just Google it. Pokemon is the new money-making scheme. But as I say, I personally don't get involved in it. So I, I feel like I can't really give you guys the information that you would require in order to be able to get involved in this. However, give Dance the Gaming a follow on Instagram as his knowledge is incredible and he'll be able to help you out if that's what you're looking to do. As one card could be worth thousands of pounds. Now, the other side of it is the trainers. I'll be a little bit sexist here, but if you're a guy, you're probably aware of this, whereas I wasn't for quite a long time. I wasn't until recently, really, where there's certain type of trainers that are really rare. So if you, for example, have the sneakers app, from Nike, they will launch really rare trainers so you can enter a draw and be in with the chance of picking a pair. However, it is quite difficult to get your hands on them, hence why they sell for thousands of pounds. But it's definitely worth looking into it and having a look how much you could potentially make on a pair by using the StockX app as that's kind of the exchange for, for trainers and stuff. But once again, I personally don't get involved in that so I cannot give you any more information than this it's kind of for you to have a look at and see whether that's something you want to get involved in but from what I know you can make a lot of money from it so it's definitely worth mentioning number five is matched betting now I've personally tried this and I can honestly say that it does work I've made about 300 pound or something from it roughly and it did take quite a lot of effort I'll be honest it did take quite a lot of effort and it's only good for kind of a one-off income I found it not to be sustainable purely because of how it works and the way it works is that you know how all these betting companies have got introductory offers so place a £25 bet or deposit £25 and get £25 in free bets stuff like that so all of those introductory offers that's how you make your money because what you're in effect doing is you're placing a bet with them and then you're placing the opposite bet on Betfair which in effect covers all outcomes so either way you're making a profit and because you're then using the free bet which is the profit making part your money isn't at risk now i won't go into too much detail on how this works as that would be a video in itself because there is quite a lot to cover and it can get a little bit complicated so do check it out i know there are a lot of videos on youtube because i've watched them myself and also do check out profit accumulator as that's who i I personally used when I was doing it and yes there is a monthly charge with them however the content that they've got makes it much easier to organize yourself and to make sure you're making the most out of the offers that are out there and they also have training videos which allow you to, to truly understand the process 
So one thing to bear in mind with this is it is time consuming. Yeah, you could make, you know, a few hundred pounds in a month or two. However, it, when you look at it, it is quite time consuming as you have to create multiple accounts with various different betting companies. You know, you then have to place the bets, make sure you're doing it the right way. It can just get a little bit messy. So it's worth looking into as ultimately it is easy money, but it just depends whether you've got the time to do that. So the last way I want to discuss us is to sell stuff on the likes of eBay, Etsy, Facebook or Gumtree. So obviously that can involve both used products as well as brand new products. Currently we're in the national lockdown so use this time to clear out your house and you never know what you're going to find. Any electronics, anything like that, have a look on eBay for example as to what they're selling for roughly and then pop them on. The worst thing that's going to happen is you're just going to have to chuck them out like you were going to anyway but it's worth checking whether you can get some money for them. When it comes to the likes of Etsy or Facebook for example, you can get really really creative. Now the two things that I've noticed absolutely booming right now are the likes of your, your sweet boxes and like chocolate hampers. Like they are huge right now so why not get involved? This one is all about using your imagination and making the most of it and trying to monetize it. Personally I mentioned this in my get to know me video. I am currently driving online sales for my beauty salon so what I've introduced are pamper kits for various different budgets as I obviously can't have the salon physically open so it's the best thing I can do right now and they've been really really popular which is amazing. In. So I feel like there's a market for everyone and for everything. Just use your imagination, get a bit creative and you never know, you might hit the jackpot with it. So these are just a few ways of making money online. There are obviously millions of other ways, but these are just some of those. I've tried to provide a range of different activities to allow you to make that bit of extra dosh as I feel like it is really important to have those options. Some of the ways are obviously going to make you money faster than others but ultimately it all comes down to the amount of effort that you're willing to actually put into it all as that will ultimately determine how successful you are you have to put the work in if you want to reap the rewards it's as simple as that so i hope you like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on monday with a brand new video bye guys